everyone, good evening, it's uh, Captain Mayo here again, just to inform you, uh, uh, we'll be starting our descent very, very shortly into sunny Tormelinas in about five minutes. I do hope you've enjoyed your flight on, uh, on behalf of British Airways, British Legion and the British Pop and Video Awards. Uh, we hope you enjoy your holiday in Spain. Again, I do apologise for the behaviour of the Northern Ireland contingent aboard the flight, and I trust this won't prevent us from ripping you off again. I beg your pardon. Uh, I trust this won't prevent you from travelling with British Airways again soon. And for all of you who speak Spanish, buenos dias, buenos noches, buenos corsairs, which roughly translated means go fuck yourselves. All doors to Manuel, please. All doors to Manuel. Well, we are at the sunny Spain. Here, if you want to ride a marathon in some cool Bracania, you can sneak a senior letters by the score. España forever! Will you fuck up by going to do your job and get us off this plane first? We're celebrities, you know. Hurry up! That's right, you wee bollocks. You're getting well x-rayed to be our courier. So take your face out of that calculator and do your fucking job. You can work out how much Barney Eastwood is glad for you. We bastard off this holiday. You're not gonna cram me here, babe. Come on, hurry up. I wasn't counting up my money at all, honest to God. I was just working out how much the old family alone says now. Uh, Sandra's stopped on her child, as you know, and uh, she's pregnant again. Uh, I'm only doing my best. Cut the cackle, McGuigan, for goodness sake. You have the breeding habits of a fucking rabbit. Admit it, for goodness sake. He's an awful money me bollocks in, isn't he? OK, OK, I have to make a bit of a roll call here to make sure everybody's present. Uh, Jerry Fit. I'm here. Ian Paisley. I'm here for God's sake. Uh, what about Mr. Herman? Are you here? Uh, I certainly am indeed. I'm of course here. Uh, Robert, are you here? Yes, I'm here. So I am. I'm over here. What's that? A jar of Vaseline there? Right, hold on, Dr. Pierce. I'm trying to get this road call made. Uh, who else who have I missed it? Look, hey, by the way, you called me Jerry Fit, didn't you? No, I said Mr. Fit. Look, let me tell you something. It's Lord Fit to you, cunty bollocks. At least I have a title. I might have lost my seat to that beardy Buck Adams, but I didn't blame it on the heat, my manager, and the price of fucking dollars. Here, Mr. Foot, that's not fair. I did my best, you know, and I trained real hard. I ran 3,000 miles a day with my brewer, and I sparred 175 rounds uh, every day with every sort of darky Barney East we could throw at me. Detroit niggers, Port of fucking Regans, and Sunday Row Blue men, you name it, and I did my best, honest to God. And the heat got to me, and Barney East would made, made me take the fight on. And me and my brother didn't want to take it. Uh, if I was still chief counsel of the IUC, Barry, I would have you arrested for polluting the fucking air with shit like that. Yes, McGregor, just get on with it. OK, OK, you're obviously here, all these, a whole lot of these. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, only until I get a few drinks, I mean. Uh, uh, well, a few of these people bid us up here. After way this fucker stitched up the UDR4, don't be surprised if he falls off his hotel balcony. I have it in for you, Sir John, as you know. Uh, and Robert, where's Robert? I'm over here, so I am a lost my ton of Vaseline under this nice man's seat. Fucking Cora House is a lot to answer for, I'll tell you. Hey, where's Mr. Hoggy? I'm here, Barry, and I'm delighted to be on this historic cross community, cross border, cross eyed holiday to Spain. Shut your trap, Hoggy. You're only here because uh, I agreed you're coming. The organisers give me a choice between Albert Reynolds, Burt Reynolds, Fanny Adams, Jerry Adams, or you. And I knew you were a puny, dying looking wee fucker. That I could welt if you got out of hand, so I picked you, all right. That's very kind of you, Dr. Fraser, but I, I, I would remind you that, that I, I, I have a black belt in judo. Uh, you have a black belt in your fucking neck, so you have. And let me tell you, I don't care if you have a snake belt in kung fu. I wear a size 13 boot. And if you as much mention the Anglo-Irish agreement to me, you'll get us so far up your hole that the both of us will have to be taken to hospital to get my boot dug out of your anus. All right, all right, come on, that's it. That's a lot of us are all here. Nope, there's somebody else, but I can't remember who the fuck it is. I hope it's not that smug bitch Mary Robinson. Bad enough for you in a fall losing the presidential election, but losing it to a fucking woman. Patrick Flynn was right. She's a scarlet woman in nun's clothing. Why do they let women into politics, I don't know. Women? Uh, sure, I was forced to allow them to handle guns. And most of them couldn't even handle their monthly hormonal changes. I know who's missing, I tell you now. I saw them up at the bar having a swally. Hey, he's fucking plastered about the infected as piss as a grandmaster. 
You mean it's as black as a Fenian bishop? Probably Casey as well, but anyway, we'll say no more about that. Right, right, come on, this is getting us nowhere. Will somebody go up the bar and get our missing passenger? It's all right, it's all right, I'm here, Barry. I'm sorry, I was just having a glass of pure orange at the bar. Well, I sincerely hope it was pure orange. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, uh, it wasn't, I have to say, that they never called me, so you didn't. Will you shut your beak or I will stick that Zimmer frame up your arse? Right, there's no way, there's no need to talk to him they get there. The boy's having a lot of difficulty, you know. Right now, come on, Robert, when you shut up, I'll take your Vaseline off you. They got so enough, get your gear ready, and after you have all had a shade and a shave in the hotel, meet me in the foyer, and I'll go through your itinerary. You'll go through fuck all, McGregor, nobody interferes with my bags. <laughs> Except Eileen, of course. But you let the famous man, Mr. Pussy! Shut your fucking face! Stop! Hey, come on, Ian, leave me alone for you. I have a son, you don't need to slap me in the face. Fuck up, Robert, now, come on. Right, Dr. Pizzy, why did you not blow the lid in Concora House? Because he was too busy blowing a wee rabbit. <laughs> Jerry, I'd stick my boot in your metropole anymore of that, now shut your gob. There's no need for that there, I'm only raking for God's sake. We're all on holiday, we're meant to be enjoying ourselves. Uh, Dr. Pizzy, if you don't mind me saying, I think you're a bit of a bully. I don't think I'm a bully at all. Let me say this to you, Sir John. If you had a bit as tough with the RUC, we would have been in the fucking mess we're in today. So we would. Right now, come on, stop all the swabbling. Here, Dr. Pierce, there's all your keys for your rooms. Eh, uh, Robert, there's yours. What room am I in? What number is it? 69? Holy fuck. Here, give me that room. I want to go into that one. Here, give me them keys. Hold on a second. Right, come on, now, get into your room, and I'll meet you down the foyer in about 15 minutes. Then we'll make our minds up where we're going. <laughs> 